Hello, Hi, everyone. Guys. Hey, y'all. We, uh, we're so happy y'all are already in here. Um, we have been looking forward to this for, uh, for a while. We've got some cool things planned for tonight. Um, ever so grateful that all of you are here. Um, Ford, uh, Ford Pinto Flips is the first one in here. Then uh, KC, hello. Uh, KJ. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, KJ. He's getting old. Can't read. Yes, indeed. Then a, a fellow 1K. Uh, look at there. What's up, Joey Bottomy? Joey Babyface 22. Babyface. Oh, my goodness. My <laughs> wife don't even call me Babyface. That was uh, really good. Uh, look like uh, Panther Pack uh, 87. Oh, hello. Enough. Hello. The chat just jumped. I hear everybody saying that now that we're uh, in StreamYard. We understand. Victoria's the next one. Victoria. Hello. Hello. Uh, adventures in reselling. Victoria. So grateful that you're here. Lone Star Picker. Howdy, man. Uh, I like that. Howdy, y'all. That's how we talk. Queen E. Aaron. Best offer, Queen. What's up? AKA Aunt E. How you doing? Yes, indeed. OBX Picker, look forward to being on with you on Friday night. We're uh, excited about that. Yes, indeed. I, I hear you don't like sharks. Uh, Nikki <laughs> T was giggling in the other room when I heard uh, heard that. Oh, uh, that was too funny. The one and only Calvin, what's up, man? Good, uh, good to have you hanging out with us tonight. The thrifting Goomba. Hello, hello. Rachel Smith, hello. Uh, grateful to uh, have all of you here. Let's see. Hey, hello, Miss Kim. You want to do a few? Sure. Let's see. Who's next? Doo, doo, doo. We're looking, looking, looking. Hey, Shane M. Good to see you again, buddy. Shane M. What's Thank up? for hanging with us. Let's see. Uh, All right. It's Look. jumping some more. Hey, Froggy Flips and Frank. Stroke of luck. Thank you all so much for being here. Debs. Oh, Frank, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be in the show. Look at here. What's up, Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh. Hey, Shasha. Anthony. I'll tell you what, Shasha has been watching like every one of my yes. old uh, videos and has been commenting to uh, at least sort of prove that, that uh, they were there for a little bit. Thank oh, you see. so very much uh, for doing that. Uh, the old school picker. What's up, Chris? One of a kind. Colton and uh, I, I assume Courtney is there with you. Hello, guys. Good having y'all with us. Hey, Amanda. That's my sushi girl right there. Sushi. What's hey. up? <laughs> What's up, Amanda? And many times over, Shasha, thank you very much uh, for, that. for that. Ken Green, hello, man. Good, uh, good to have you in the house with us tonight. I want to sort of tell y'all a few things that we're uh, looking forward to doing tonight. We want to spend a little bit of time with y'all. We we really do appreciate each of you being here and hanging out with us. Um, I sort of mentioned about Joey Bada being 22, uh, getting to that 1K mark. We were uh, blessed to get to that 1K sub mark as well. Uh, I had a big shout out by uh, Justin uh, Justin Grimes. Uh, Grimes Fine shouted us out one day last week, and I think we got a, a bunch. Don't want to interrupt him, but we wanted to say hey to RK Treasure Center and Tim. Tim Powell, what's up, man? Tony F. Thanks for coming out and hanging with us. Hello, hello. Deb K, thank you for coming. Hey, Deb. Um, but, yeah, we, we got that shout out, and then we were given the opportunity on Sunday night to go on What the Hell show, and we did that. That was great. I, I don't believe I'd ever thought on the Internet I'd be talking about farting at the kitchen table. <laughs> um, yes, I'm sorry. That's on the interweb. Hey, and Sonny. Um, Hey, Sonny. What's up, man? Oh, Lone Star Picker, Hello. But uh, but we had a great time. The subs have just been flying. I think we've got 616 this month, which is uh, outstanding and awesome. Uh, we're grateful for those new subs. We're grateful for those that have been around from the very beginning. Uh, we're grateful for Shasha that has watched uh, those <laughs> crazy videos from the very beginning. Tesla Pickers in the house. Hey, Jennifer, the best mod in the business is here. Jennifer, have you made it to 1K yet? Tell if us in the chat. If have not subbed to Jennifer, please go sub to Jennifer. She's so close to 1K if she's not there already. And then I also saw James Callie Picker. Hi, thanks for joining us. We got Moon Outdoors. We got Marines here. Thank you guys so much for coming. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So we've got some cool things we want to do tonight. Um, we, we wanted to mention the 1K subs. 
And we wanted to let y'all know that we love y'all. I mean, that's, yes. I say that in a lot of videos, how much I praise God for each of you, how much I'm grateful for you watching the channel. Never would have thought way back when I was hiding around a pine tree in the yard showing my town car, which was a Ford Festiva that I've already sold over a year ago, uh, that now we would have almost uh, 1,300 subs and close to being able to be monetized. I said all that, how much I love y'all to say, I'm going to use y'all tonight. I'm going to use all 36 that are in the chat. We need watch time hours. And uh, I hear these lives are a way to uh, get the watch time hours up. So uh, I appreciate I hope this is enjoyable for y'all. I know it'll be enjoyable for us. And in so doing that, we'll get those watch time hours. Shout out to Uncle B who just joined us too. Oh, Nana Tink. Thanks for coming, guys. Nana Tink, Uncle B, what's up? This uh, community is amazing. Y'all have, y'all just, y'all don't realize how much you bless us with the support and the friendship you've given to us through this, through this journey. Especially me pushing me out of my shell to do something like this. This is not normal for me. So, but we love y'all. Yes, indeed. And, I uh, uh, agree to dollar. that. Sorry, guys. Keep it up. Sand Dollar. Hey, buying space. Myra. Hey, how are you? I have not saw Jimmy. He went uh, on an estate sale. Saw yes. his video today. Got a, like a $500, four or $500 VHS DVD combo, right? Yeah. Toshiba. Y'all, my wife has become a <laughs> YouTube fiend. She watches YouTube now more than anything else. Crime shows on TV where they kill their husband. <laughs> She's taking notes and doing that on TV and Netflix every now and again, but mostly YouTube. Yeah, you're still breathing. Yeah, I, I'm scared. Every time she comes around the corner, I jump. Uh, what's up, uh, Land Shark Picker? Hello, Craig. Uh, yes, I did beat you here today. What's up, man? Uh, Y'all, me and Craig have a thing going uh, that that if we're the first in the chat, we get a point. I don't know who's winning. Test this comment. He said he's going to put us on the playlist before he goes to sleep tonight. Thank you so much, Tesla. Yes, indeed, man. Appreciate yes, it. Jennifer, my favorite guilty pleasure, Criminal Minds. I'm going to just say it. Love it. Hate it's off the air, but it's my favorite. All the time. <laughs> All the time. Yes, indeed. So we wanted to tell y'all that, that we were trying to get our watch time hours up. So you probably see the little uh, thing, Nikki T and me in the live and all that stuff. I went on and splurged and spent the big money on StreamYard. So because I did that, y'all will be getting more lives. I'm sort of sticking to my words. We've been talking about that a bunch. And tonight it is going to happen. Dan, we didn't say hey to Dan. How what? did I say hey, Dan? Dan I am. What's How up? Are you? Yes, indeed. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome, to the world. Welcome, buddy. Nikki T has uh, something she wants to open. I don't know if uh, Stroke of Luck is Frank in here. He is. Um, this is actually for Rev. So Rev's getting a surprise tonight too. Oh my! He doesn't know what's in this box, but our fellow friend and, and YouTuber and eBayer, um, Frank Stroke of Luck, actually showed this on one of his shows. And when I saw it, I had to have it for Rev's wall because Rev doesn't know it, but he's actually got something behind us that goes with this. Joey so, Bada Bing, while she's opening this up, uh, be ready to talk about cards, sort of, in just a minute. Oh, y'all, y'all about to watch. Don't cut yourself. Isn't it cut away from yourself? Uh, Jimmy, cut away from yourself. <laughs> I'm going to cut myself on camera, y'all. Hey, Myra, if Myra's in here, I hadn't yeah. saw her yet. Hello. Uh, all right, so if Zion you look behind box. my shoulder right there, oh, you see old good old Billy Bass, right? Well, good old Frank had Billy Bass's cousin oh. singing trout. <laughs> yes, indeed. So uh, the I Bass has a buddy. Up. I had to get the Bass the buddy, and he does work. Frank test. Oh, let me turn him on. Got to plug him in. Oh, he's probably got a. Oh, oh, batteries. We love it, man. Yes. Thank you very yes, much. Yes. Thank we'll, you, Frank. Uh, <laughs> we'll get it on the wall without without a doubt. So, uh, love it, love it, love it. So, the next thing I wanted to share with you today, I have been accused. Well, I don't know where Frank said. Frank has accused me of bragging in a video, probably four or five videos ago. Uh, we talked about reaching that 30K mark. I think. Uh, I've been barely holding on. I don't know if we're still, uh, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, we're still there. Uh, bragging, Frank. Bragging. I'm bragging again. 
So I'm still at the 30K mark, and uh, I love bragging about the sales because it's a way we're able to be able to bless others with. Say hey to the flipping Hustler. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hello, hello. Um, but one of the things that I always love to share on here is things that we have sold. And, and the reason I do that is not to brag. Uh, I'm happy that stuff is leaving out the door, but is to help those that are watching to find bolos, to find things that they can look out for. Because guess what? I have learned so much about reselling on YouTube. And because of that, it has been amazing to me to find something that I saw somebody else find that I would have walked over. Well, there were some things that I sold today. Some are probably bolos that everybody knows. Some knows that I have sold. I only have three sales. I actually send out my orders about four o'clock every day. So my day starts around four. Um, there's going to be a video coming out tomorrow where I source these. Uh, this is a Pokemon DS game. I bought three of these at my Goodwill. Um, the three that I bought, I sold two in the video. One $49.99, $145. And this one here was the first to sell today for $100. Uh, DS game. While he's taking a breath, he's a hated cat. And Darlene and Virginia. Hey, guys. Thank you all for so much for coming. Hello. So uh, I called it a lot of different names on the video because y'all know how I am with words. They don't always flow out of my mouth the way that they should. Uh, but this silver surfer, silver whatever, soul silver Pokemon <laughs> is uh, most certainly a bolo. Yeah. The next thing I sold, I'm not going to show it to you because it's rather big, but I sold an Ace 400 metal detector day today, $225 plus shipping. So that is, uh, that's awesome. Uh, to sell that. And the third bolo that I sold today, and I have to give a little background before I share it. It has been in the video. Uh, as it was in the video, I had some comments on the video that I showed this bolo. And so people were telling me, you know, you shouldn't put numbers out there. You shouldn't count your chickens before they hatch because it probably won't happen. And that normally is good advice. There have been so many times that I have said things and it didn't come to fruition. That's a good word, I think. Crazy Shepherd, hey, Yakov Vince, thanks for coming, guys. Y'all really are making our night, y'all being here. This is great. <laughs> but this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up from the bottom. Uh, this sold. Anybody know what that is? <laughs> Liberty Puzzle. The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel, I mean <laughs> Eiffel uh, Tower. I'm going to cover Nikki T up with this. I want y'all to guess how much this sold for. It was on auction today. I said it was going to get $300 on the video. The guy told me don't count my chickens before they hatch. He was right. How much do you think I got for this puzzle? It's been paid for. It's going to be shipped out tomorrow. Oh, dang, Colton. Redneck resale. He hit that joke <laughs> dead on the head. $299.99. I put it on auction, and I had one bid today about an hour before the auction was over with, and that bad boy did not sell for $300. So I was wrong. It sold for $299.99. My estimation was off by a penny. I got $299.99 out the door. So uh, wooden puzzles, Liberty puzzles, if you find them, pick them up. Used. Whatever, get them. Two ninety nine ninety nine. Hey, Jeremy and George, thank y'all so much for coming tonight. What the hell's? What's up, man? <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. So glad y'all are here with us. Um, next, Nikki T loves this part uh, of the segment of this live. Do you remember the Instagram post? She put. What did you put on the Instagram post? I said mystery item found the bolo, the hot bolo right now. Today. Now, let me tell you the story behind the bolo. This is just as important. Y'all know that on all of my videos, I do two invoices on every one of the items that I sell. I know I'm killing trees. I think Pogi World was in here. He told me I was killing a bunch of trees. I don't mean to, but I, I'm killing trees. I use it for my record, so I print two uh, packing slips or invoices. I sign one. I always say thank you for every sale. Just put that on every one. And then the other, I put down how much the shipping cost was for my record, and I keep it. Well, today, the printer ink dried up. <laughs> what happens when the printer ink dries up? You look for more. Yep. Couldn't find it here. 
went to Walmart here in town. They did not have it. So I went over to a neighboring town in Conyers and I was kind of making my way around and I stopped at a Target. Y'all know what Target is? What's Target? Target. Target. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I stopped at the bullseye. I stopped at the Target and I walked in and I always go, every time I go to a department store, I go through the front and I go to where the trading cards are. And lo and behold, there was the best looking dude I ever seen in all my life. He was a card guy and he was putting cards, getting ready to put cards out on the counter. And this is what he sees. Some of y'all may know where this is going. He asked me, he said, uh, I know what you're looking for. And I said, what? He said, you're looking for those um, mission cards. And I said, mission cards, what's that? He said, uh, "Not." and I said, are you talking about mosaic? He said, yeah, I got eight boxes. Y'all know what I said? What I say? Let me have them. I'm going to get them all. <laughs> I'll get all eight of them. So Nikki T's going to turn. Here's Nikki T's good buddy, Zion. And there's eight. I got there's eight boxes eight of boxes. Zion. <laughs> so here's what we want y'all to do. Um, there are how many people in here now? 52, according. That is awesome. I love each, all 52 of y'all. Yep. But I want y'all to pick a number, one to eight. And uh, this will be one, one to four. Five to eight. And whatever number is the first one in the chat between one and eight is going to be the number that we're going to box. We're going to set aside seven. for an announcement. Seven. Okay. Seven. This is box number seven. This box, it is a, uh, this is a blaster box. This box is $19 at Walmart and Target. This box goes for $80 on eBay right now. I could sell this box for 80 bucks on eBay. But this box, box number seven, I'm going to set aside for a special purpose. Announcement is coming. So uh, yeah. so don't go anywhere. Uh, <laughs> the announcement is going to come before the end of the video of what is going to happen to this box, box number seven. Yeah. Um, but now, after Darlene, uh, Darlene, a Lone Star Picker just said one, no more numbers right now. Um, I want you all to start numbers again between one and four. But don't start yet. I'm going to say start in the chat. And the very next one, after I say start, that will be a box that Nikki T will get to open. So I'm going to hit start, and y'all get to open it. First one after start. What number is it, Nikki T? Three. Deb jumped on the three. Oh, no, no. Oh, looks no, like, Aaron. Look like two. best offer queen came Aaron, in. Number two. Well, number two. So uh, <laughs> I know this is not going to be a card opening. Uh, this is not going to be a card opening pack or uh, or whatnot. We uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do. I've still got Howdy up there. Let's just do that. We're going to do box number two, and um, I don't want this to be the whole episode that we're opening cards. But y'all know how excited we are. <laughs> When these cards are being opened, Nikki T enjoys it. And uh, she does, that's her best friend forever. Y'all see Zion there? I hope he autographed a card in here for her yeah. uh, tonight. So uh, I'm not going to open any. There are how many packs? One, two, three. Eight packs of four. I'll open and we can talk. So we're going to see. Try to hold my facial expressions if I find anybody worth. Hopefully, Nikki T will find some good cards. She looks, and then she hands them over to me, and I look. All right. Uh, a Ben Simmons base, Julius Irvin, a Jam Master card. That's a good one. Uh-oh, got an orange Terrence Mann rookie card. It's a good one. Got a Shaquille O'Neal Hall of Fame. Me too, Joseph. I would love to. To see the autograph. I don't know if I can keep my face if I pull an autograph Zion. Y'all might see me go a little crazy if I pull an autograph Zion. <laughs> if there's an autograph Zion in here, we're going to party. Right. Hey, Sam. DeAndre Bembry. Uh, Donovan Mitchell. He had the COVID. That ain't good. He had the Rona. Oh, there's a Rui rookie card. I know uh, Aunt Anthony always talks about him. That's uh, that's a good one. 
Come on, Nikki T. Where's I it? Know. Uh oh, y'all. We got a Pelicans rookie. <laughs> Pelicans rookie. Not the good one, though. Oh, don't it. Oh, look at here. Got a Russell Westbrook. Not numbered. What Russell Westbrook card? That's a good one. Malik Monk. That rascal looks old, don't he? Look at him. He looks like he should be retired. I think this is his second year in the league. That dude looks old. All right, down to the last pack. Come on, where's he at? I don't know. Um, nothing super yet, Sam. Kevin Porter Jr. That's a good one. Not a whole lot in this in this box. Come on, Nikki T. What in the world? <laughs> Let's see. We got a Carl Malone prism. That's a, that's that's a good, good prism. Oh, Not yeah. a bad card. I want to do another box. I think we want to do one more box. Let's do one more box. One more box. One more box. You pick it. Nikki T's going to pick it. Let's go with box three. We're just going to go box three. Box number three. She watches all those crime shows, and I just handed her a knife. That isn't smart, is it, y'all? Leaning back. Leaning. All right, we still have some cool things that we want to share with y'all. She just dropped the car. Yeah. That is like, hmm. She dropped the Baptist lottery <laughs> ticket. That is, that's bad. That's no good. All right, so we're rooting for a Ja Morant. We're rooting for a Zion Williamson. We're rooting for a Genesis card. Um, we're rooting for something good. Y'all, bang, we just got an auto card. It is not a Zion. Not a Zion. But it's not bad. It's a... Uh, Nicholas Claxton. Come on, man. You ain't supposed <laughs> to be revealing it for. I reveal it. Here we go. Nicholas Claxton. That's not a numbered card, but it is an auto. Look at there. That ain't too bad. I don't know how much it goes for, but I'm happy to have it. Oh, here, here he is. Look at there. Taco Fall. Look at that green prism. That's a good one. Got a rookie. That's it. Tyler Hero, rookie. Got the big old uh, Giannis. I wish I knew how to say his last name. Got a give and go, Russell Westbrook. Marcus Marquez Folk. Markel. Come on, where's he at? Uh oh, look at here. She's just uh, running all over this. This is a <laughs> this is a good card, y'all. This is probably uh I don't know. I don't know how much it is. I'd hate to say. If this was a I don't know how much y'all reckon that card is. That is a prism Curry. wheel, Stefan uh Stefan Curry. Uh, Wheel to Win Prism card. That's Ooh. probably over a hundred dollar card here, I would assume. It's not Zion, but it's the King. Uh oh, she got a. She got. I got James. LBJ, <laughs> LeBron James got game. That's a good one. Yeah, he's a decent one out of the box. Scotty Pippen. Still hadn't seen my Zion yet. Oh, here's a good one. As being an Atlanta Hawks fan. Um, DeAndre Hunter, rookie card, third third pick in the draft, I believe. <laughs> Silver Prism, that's good. So uh, I think the best three cards out of these two boxes, and remember, I could have got $160 for those two boxes that we just opened. Do we have $160 worth of cards? I'm not sure, but I'll put my money on this one. Yeah. Probably will go uh, up for sale. I don't know how much it goes for. Probably a good card. Probably over 100 bucks. Nicholas Claxton, Rookie Scripts Auto. Um, hopefully, $50 card. DeAndre Bim Bimbry, prob or uh, DeAndre Hunter, probably a $20 card. So uh, I think we'll get our 180 out of it. I hope so. I hope we'll get our 180 out of it. Yeah. We still have some more cards. I don't want y'all to leave. Those of you that like the card openings, uh, we probably won't be opening any more cards unless 
Nikki T will probably be opening more cards <laughs> today, but I don't know if we'll be doing it on camera. Yep. But we wanted to spend a little bit of time, um, yeah, maybe answering a few questions. I don't know if you got questions. We didn't get to say hey to sweet text signs. Yes, indeed. She Hello. She was just on Landshark Picker. If y'all haven't subscribed to her, do so. Yes, indeed. Go give a go give a sub, Mr. Benz. I seen him. Where's he at? Uh, there he is. How about all the other cards? Why not list them as well? Um, see what I do. Most of the cards I on my eBay store, I have to do three dollars shipping. I have to offer a shipping label with tracking because I don't mess up the eBay store. So if the card is only worth five dollars, nobody's gonna. It's not worth it. Excuse me. It's not worth it for me to send that out. I'm thinking about starting another eBay store and not really worry about uh, that. Is probably what I will. Uh, what I'll be doing in the future. Not done it yet, but that's why. Uh, that's why uh, I'm not doing that. Redneck so, resale. Need to get him some cards. They're uh, fun, man. Josie, can you tell me what cards those were? The ones that we put in sleeves, Joey. Yeah. Uh, and Lone Star had it right. That I'm the boss, so I get to open the Baptist boxes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> she is the boss. Um, there is no doubt with that. This is a, a Stephon Curry Wheel to Win. I don't know. It's a prism, but I don't know what type prism that is, if it's an orange or a green. I don't really know what type that is. Um, yep. good, good card, though. Yep, Aaron. He's thinking about another eBay score. For all these cards. This one I think is called Silver Mosaic Prism. That's kind of a cool card. And this one is just a Nicholas Claxon rookie script. It's a prism. Uh, all the rookie autos are. If this had been a, a Zion Williamson, this would have bought us a car. I may have happy danced in my chair. <laughs> I would have happy danced after I got off the floor. Um, Still a good card. Calvin said, where do you find your metal detectors? Oh, the infamous honey hole. Yeah, uh, I found some. There's some metal detector talk coming up later in the show as well. Um, we uh, show one more. Uh, show the box one more time. Joey wanted to know what the box is called. They are the Panini. Panini oh, Mission Mosaic. Yeah. Let's see. How do you get... So let's see. Let's go up and see if I can get this comment off. There we go. All right, here we go. That's it. Uh, this is the Mosaic 2019-2020 NBA trading cards. Mm -hmm. If you see these boxes or anything like them, pick them up. They will Buy sell them. for more than you pay for them at Kmart or Target or Walmart, not Kmart. They've been gone for a long time. Pick them up. I see you, Pittsburgh. We'll talk. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about the Kevin Porter Jr. card. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, but those are uh, those are good cards. So, um, metal detectors. Where do I get the metal detectors? I have a honey hole. I call it honey hole number two in our community. And what they do is they get in a truckload just about every day. Not a full truckload, but they get in things like um, health and beauty. Mm, some health and beauty, but they get in. Uh, grills, they get in bouncy houses, they get in all different type things. Uh, they get in pallets from sport, like sporting goods stores. Well, one of the sporting goods stores, Academy or something like that, actually, um, they uh, they actually sell uh, metal detectors. So when a metal detector is deter returned, they don't send them back to the supplier. They have to just get rid of those. So I'm the one they get rid of them to. So I, I will test the detectors, just make sure they turn on. And if they turn on, I buy them. I'll bring them home. I go through and, you know, detect in the yard, make sure they work the way that they should. And then I sell them. And like today, I think I paid $100 for that one, sold it for $225. Not, not big money, but good money. Um, but we're going to talk about a metal detector in just a minute uh, that, that we'll share with you. Bluegrass said, do you only buy blaster boxes? No, and these, uh, of course, Anthony at Bluegrass Picker, I know you know this. Um, I buy any and everything Mission Mo or Mission Mosaic, uh, <laughs> the Panini Mosaic. Uh, anything Zion, anything present basketball, I would get them because they do good and they sell. Um, this box could go for $80. I pay $20, it goes for $80. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, good pickup. But some of these cards may go for over 80. So uh, that's that's the Baptist lottery ticket. That is the gamble. Talk about the video you got coming out. Video? What video I got coming out? What are you talking about? <laughs> I do have a video coming out in the morning. It'll just share with you some different things that we have. Uh, Source Troy, what's up, man? It's uh, good to see you. Well, let me, let me go into it now. We're only 30 minutes in, and the rest, we just want to spend time hanging out with y'all so we can get through our list uh, <laughs> of things. I don't know if y'all use your uh, Rolo labels for, for list makers, but what we want to do now, now when I say this, I want you to be uh, reminded that if you put any comment in uh, the live chat, it's not going to be any good for what I'm about to tell you. You have to put it in the video comments after this is over with. I don't know if you can do that now, uh, but in the comment section after this video, after the live is over with, I'll need you to put in a comment. But we're at a thousand subs and a thousand sub giveaways is like something that I said I was going to do. I think when I was at about 600, uh, Aaron, I said something to Aaron and uh, about, you know, Aaron said, well, you should give away a metal detector. And I said, man, that would be awesome if I get to a thousand. Thinking it's a year away, uh, <laughs> she would forget. Well, it wasn't a year away. And because it wasn't a year away, I wanted to make that happen. So one of the things that I want to do is I want to have two things that I'm going to give away. Um, and one is going to come with an option and the other is just going to be a straight up, straight up giveaway. Here's the first thing that we are going to give away. Now, this is not fully tested. Y'all see this? It's a Garrett Ace 200 metal detector. It's a beginner metal detector, probably a $140, $160 metal detector, $169. I don't know, somewhere around there. But um, we're going to test this, but I want to give this away. I'll tell you how potentially you can win it. We want to give this one away. And we also want to give the box that y'all pick at the beginning, I want to give this away. So I'm going to give away the metal detector and this, two winners. But on the metal detector, this is the option that you get. An option. So the metal detector, if you win this, I'll tell you how in just a little bit. If you win the metal detector, you get the option of a $100 gift card or the metal detector. $100 is, is right at my buy-in cost for the metal detector. So if, if you win and you say, you know, I really don't want a metal detector, I will send you the gift card for a hundred bucks. So you get the option, hundred dollar gift card or the metal detector. And then the second one that we're going to give away is this, no option with this. Uh, you get a Baptist lottery ticket. You get uh, this Zion. My boy Zion could be in there. $80 is what the going rate is on eBay. So if you want to get this and then sell it on eBay, you get 80 bucks. Uh, if you want, you know, if you want to open it up and find that Zion autograph, then you get $10,000 or whatever the cost might be. The truth is we wouldn't be where we are without all of you here in the chat, all of the channels that have just, all of y'all thrown us so much support. We just, we just really want to say a huge thank you to all of you that have, you know, shouted us out, hosted us on your channel, just any way you, every way you've helped us, we can't, we can't say thank you enough. So we just figured this be a little way to just throw out some appreciation y'all's way. OSP just said something and I saw it. Man, is that true? Rev, women <laughs> never forget. Man, that is the truest statement. I want to say amen, but I'm not in church yet. But uh, OSP, you are correct. Women never forget. So here's how you're going to win. Here's how you get a chance to win uh, either of these after this, um, after this live is over with probably 30 or so minutes from now, when this live is over with, you will be able to go down in YouTube and go down to the comment section in YouTube. And let's see if I can do the banner. I'm learning this y'all watch this uh, <laughs> to be entered to win the one K giveaway, comment one K on the regular video comments and you will be entered. Only get one entry, one entry per uh, comment. Uh, 1K anywhere in the comment. If you just comment 1K, that'll be good. I'd rather you comment something else. Uh, but any comment 1K on the regular video comments, and you will be entered to win. I want to say thank you to everybody for the, the sweet comments, Troy and Shane and Lone Star, all of you. The just 
sweet comments. Thank you, guys. Yes, indeed. I didn't read them, but uh, I'm, I'm sure they were sweet, sweet comments. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Frank said, I told my daughter's boyfriend, Jesus forgives. I, oh. daddy, uh, doesn't. Frank, you are exactly right. I have a daughter that uh, just had a birthday, yeah. and it uh, it won't be long that I'm sure those dudes are going to be knocking at the door. So, well, going uh, on 17. Mm. Mm. So uh, it's coming. Mm. So to be entered to win, either this second place prize could be first place prize if it's got a Zion in it, and the ACE 200 metal detector. I do reserve the right if this metal detector is not <laughs> tested and doesn't work out the best that it should. I will uh, either replace this metal detector with another one, or I will just do the hundred dollars. So I say that now in the small print. Yeah. <laughs> That's the fine print. Yes. Yes, indeed. So what if we open it up for some questions? Yes, indeed. Like question time. Any question, reselling question, personal. It doesn't matter. We're yeah. an open book. Women don't forget anything you want to know. Yes, she said, she said personal. I don't know how personal you want to get, but uh, anything you want to know about Nikki T and me or about the reselling game or about what we do, we would love to be able to dialogue. Yeah. That's one of the things that I enjoy with YouTube is uh, it gives us, we have met some cool people, some that we hope that when this Rona is over with, uh, that we'll be able to meet face to face. And uh, But many of you, I've had an opportunity of commenting and talking with you. Uh, man, it's uh, it's awesome. Um, are we back in real Sunday person to person service yet at church? No, Troy, unfortunately we are not. Um, here in Georgia, the shelter in place was extended until June 12th. For certain segment for, of society. Yeah. The older, the older, the elderly and for certain people that have underlying conditions. And that does affect a good bit of our church. So we just felt it best not to meet just yet yeah we haven't set that date yet i think june 12th which is my 40th birthday <laughs> is the day that all of that is going away or that that's what they said um so we're going to be talking with the leadership of the church and hopefully phasing in at least to a sunday morning service uh we still want to keep putting the videos on facebook i think it's been a success uh so we want to continue to do that uh but Hopefully, sometime in June, we'll be able to gather again in God's house. That'll be good. Uh, Shasha, how far away are you from your hours? Keep watching. Keep watching. <laughs> keep watching. We are... Uh, I think we're a little over 2,000 hours in, so we need a... We're on the downhill slope. Yeah. I'm getting 40 downhill. I'm at 2,000. Uh, I'm pushing him, and he's heavy. Yes, indeed. Uh, so I'll be rolling downhill before too much longer. But thank you all so much uh, for watching and being a part of that. Who gets to pick the ice cream flavor when you shop? You know what's actually shocking is we actually pretty much, if we go to Baskin, we like the same flavor. Which what is, is it? Mint chocolate chip. Yep, we dated. Uh, <laughs> Baskin Robbins opened in town. Where I met her was behind. I, Baskin Robbins is in the center of the shopping center. Uh, Kroger and Belk were behind it. She worked at Belk and went into Snickers for a uh, went into Kroger for a Snickers. <laughs> so we dated a bunch uh, and got ice cream. So uh, yep, mint well, chocolate chip. Shout out to uh, just saw Key Lime Kisses came in and Lisa G. Hey, Callie, I, I see that. I don't do it often, brother. I get in trouble <laughs> if I do it uh, anytime. <laughs> That was kind of an off the hip question, and it just flew they out. They were so much fun, though, and y'all got to watch me draw a lot of likes on that. I, <laughs> I froze, I think, a couple of times. <laughs> Mint chocolate chip is the goat. There is no doubt. Greatest of yes, all time. Especially the Baskin Robbins mint chocolate chip. It's just hard to beat. It's hard to beat. Rachel Smith, uh, I keep watching uh, your videos, and I've learned a lot. Uh, you know, I, I don't I don't want to come across on the videos like I, like I know really anything or all. I think some resellers can come across like, hey, if you do it exactly like I do it, you're going to be successful. Uh, I don't want to do that. I just hope some osmosis. I just hope some of the things that you watch and see just sort of rolls off. If you learn to find wooden puzzles and sell them for three hundred dollars. <laughs> Man, I'll be as happy as you are. I will uh, I will absolutely uh, love it. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you are learning a few things. Hey to Iowa Bob. Iowa Bob. Own the basket. Ooh. 
on the Baskin for 10 job. years. I'm sure you made some bank off of uh, <laughs> mint chocolate chip because uh, I know mm -hmm. I, I love some mint chocolate chip. Uh, Frank said you don't ever blow your nose at his table. That will never <laughs> happen, Frank. I, I promise. Don't ever blow your nose at my kitchen table. I will choke a person. We have people that we're real good friends with, we play cards with, and they don't like the sound of chewing. So you tell me, how in the world can you eat without chewing? I don't chew with my mouth open, <laughs> but sometimes it can get loud at a table. Uh, I wouldn't want to be choked by Frank. Um, Deb asked, are we both from Georgia? Um, no, actually no. I'm an army brat. Um, I was actually born in Germany. That's where my dad was stationed at the time. So I'm from all over the place. Every three years, somewhere new. Georgia is just where I was, lived the longest. I was uh, born and raised in the tail end of the world. That's what I tell everybody. <laughs> I'm from Butts County, Georgia, uh, which is about 15 minutes from where we're videoing right now. Um, Butts County is Jackson, Georgia. Uh, I grew up on South River. Uh, my grandmother lived in Porterdale, uh, which is the area we live now, the church that we pastor. Uh, so, uh, yes, I, I'm a Georgia. I'm Baptist born, Baptist bred, and when I die, I'll be Baptist dead. Uh, <laughs> I was Georgia born, Georgia bred, and when I die, I'll be a Georgian dead, without a doubt. Hey, Mom, I'm Hip Flippin' Mama just came in. What's up? Hip Flippin' Mama, one of the coolest. And I want to address um, Moon Outdoors, said they go back this Sunday with a six feet apart seating. That's probably what we'll have to do when we get to go back. Um, is still take that into consideration, the social distancing and all that, because we yeah, want to do what's safe for everybody. Yeah, we're, we're not going to pass the plate. And if you think of that as a church, a lot of times people think all they are is worried about money. We're not. Um, but one of the things that we have, we know that the tithe is a part of our Christian experience. So at the end of the service, we'll have our closing prayer. and We'll have our ushers stand at the door just with the plate out. And when people leave, if they want to put in their offering, we're not going to pass the plate. There's a few things. We're going to have few separated. Um, I want to hug and love and kiss on everybody, <laughs> shake hands, but we're not going to be able to do that, uh, which is going to be hard. Um, but, uh, but we'll make do. We want to be as safe as we can do. Aaron, I know the answer to your question. If you could own your car, what would your dream car be, Rev? What would it 1963 be? 1963 and a half Ford Falcon two-door. Yes. But 1963 and a half Falcon would only, only be a two door. Yep. Uh, 260, three speed on the column, wood grain. If it was a sprint, it would be awesome. Uh, yeah, those are awesome cars. I've owned the uh, one that was the same body style, but it was a uh, four cylinder car. Uh, I drove it around with a 200 in it. It was awesome. But one day, one day, I'm going to uh, own one of those cars. I'm claiming it in the name of Jesus. Um, RK Treasure, what part of Georgia? I just saw you said your wife was from Georgia. That's cool. Yeah. And then, Frank, thank you so much. Yeah, my dad served for a little over 20 years, and he actually says he wished he'd stayed in the reserves, but he retired out in the military. And I saw something else, but it's all moving so fast. Yeah, said he was stationed in uh, Duenberg for three years. Oh, yes, Richard, your comment. Yes, I was born in Frankfurt. Uh, Dad Fort was stationed in Vilflicken. Fort Vilflicken. I always like to say that. Can I speak German? No. <laughs> Didn't know a good I southern good boy could say Vilflicken, but uh, I said it. She's from Valdosta. That's not super far, but we, it's a few hours from here. Yes, indeed. Valdosta's got a nice, uh, we, we've been to Valdosta a few times. It is super far from here. <laughs> There is no, uh, we're in the middle part of the state. Of course, Valdosta is a long ways away and there's no straight shot to get there, but we love, we love Valdosta. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's cool. Sweet text. That's neat to, yes, Germany is beautiful. I, I was, I wish I could go back and see it all over again. I was so little when I was there. Fort Stewart. We've been there a few times. Yep. yep. Thank you for your service too, RK. It sounds like, uh, Best Offer Queen is asking all the wonderful questions tonight. Uh, you could go anywhere. If I could go anywhere, where would I travel? Honestly, the, I'm not joking. Walmart. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Come on, well, I'm maybe. ready for her to go shopping again. Walmart has diamonds. So maybe, no, no. <laughs> we actually, for our 20th anniversary in a couple of years, my go-to destination is actually somewhere around Jackson Hole, maybe into Colorado, somewhere in that way. I haven't been there. Yes, we'd love. Uh, oh, I have cool, a Tesla. have a '99 Ranger with a pop up uh, camper. If you saw my videos, 
We're going to hook that booger up and we're going to drive to Colorado. No. We're going to go through Denver. No? No. Oh. Y'all might see him on one of those crime shows. He drives that truck. <laughs> we did it one time and that truck looked so pitiful. It, the back end was sitting down. I had it loaded. It had bikes on top of it. We were going camping. We looked like uh, the hillbillies. <laughs> I see you, Tesla. That's uh, yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's cool. And I see um, somebody else has to put them up. Yep, Nana Tinks and her sister married a man from Germany. That's cool. Awesome. It's amazing how you figure out all the people are <laughs> different ways we're all connected. Richard, I hear you. Only after a couple of beers. <laughs> if you if you get some uh, Mountain Dew in me after midnight, I probably talk like you do after a couple of beers. I just uh, so we couldn't have a live after midnight. I tell all the Y'all heard the way he said Eiffel Tower talking about that puzzle. Eiffel. 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 La Tour Eiffel. Tesla, can can I I want to go in his suitcase? They go every other year. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Germany. Yeah, that's that's one of the places that uh Nikki T has mentioned she would like for us to go is to Germany uh and kind of see <laughs> where she was born and some of that. That one uh that, that's cool. Yeah. Frank had Brockwurst for dinner. That's as close as uh that does that count? I'll take it, brother. <laughs> Oh, Rev ate a whole pound of bacon. No, I did not. There were all but two pieces. There were three slices. You ate one slice, and there's two left in there. A bite, a bite of a slice. <laughs> I ate six eggs and no, yeah, six eggs, two pieces of toast, and about uh, 15 ounces of bacon. Well, Callie, I wonder if it's the same hospital. My my birth certificate is in all German. Can't read it. So <laughs> she was born about seven years before that. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Joseph, I agree, man. Uh, How do your kids feel about your parents being YouTube stars? <laughs> <laughs> um, stars? I don't know if I would say stars. <laughs> yeah, they uh, they have asked questions like, Dad, are you going to get that button? I was yeah. like, because I got to a thousand subs, I guess he thought I got a play button. I was like, buddy, I need to add a few more zeros on that, I think, before the play button comes. Uh, we're, we're just trying to get the sense, uh, not not the play button. But they think it's cool. We think it's cool. So we uh, we enjoy it. So Pan Panther Pack said, would you rather live at the beach or at the mountains? You mountains. go first. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt the mountains. I don't like uh, sand getting in places that it don't need to be. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Nate. Hey, Cajun. It's true. Yeah. Nate's here? Where's Nate? I just saw what up. There it is. What up? <laughs> What's up, Nate? Best beard in the business. Yep. Yep. After this, I know there's several shows after this one. I know that uh, Frank is having his first um, live At wrestling. 10 o'clock, about 12 minutes. And then I think is it Goom Thristin Goomba and them are having their, um, their live show also. So. If you find a signed Zion card, where will you take Nikki for a second honeymoon? Mm. Uh, I'll tell you what, James. <laughs> uh, my wife has a – she's still in her honeymoon. She's still in the first one. We've been married for uh, – six. she almost got in trouble the other day. I had the years right. Been married 16 years, and uh, she's still in – right? Still in honeymoon? Mm -hmm. I don't know where she'd yeah. want to go, but I'd have to take her somewhere <laughs> nice uh, for sure. Would you rather fight – oh, my gosh, what did that say? It's Joseph. Mountains are overrated. I saw that. Uh, Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? <laughs> Woo! Um, that's, a, that's a good one. I tell you what, ducks, I, I remember being in the mountains one time, and there were some ducks, and, and I was feeding, we were feeding them bread. Remember, this is a kid. And uh, we were tossing them bread, and we ran out of the bread that my mom and dad gave my brother to feed the ducks. And they were walking up on us, thinking we still had bread. And I looked down, and I saw a cigarette butt. And I held the cigarette butt out like it was a piece of bread. And this duck came wobbling up, and duck bites hurt. That rascal hit my finger. And when it did, I thought it took my finger off. So... I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to fight either one of them, but I think I would rather fight a hundred duck sized horses yeah. than a duck that was the size of a horse. That thing would kill you. Take your head off. <laughs> That's my answer. Yeah. 
Are you? Oh, somebody asked Panthers Pack if they were a Panthers fan. <laughs> Panthers Pack eighty seven. Are you a Panthers fan? We're all waiting in yeah. chat. Oh, if you could ask God one question, what would it be? And that's for both of us. Wow. Oh. Uh, Get a little spiritual here, uh, Reverend Resale. Uh, I really go by Pastor D in real <laughs> life, or just David. Um, one of the things, why questions are one that we can always want to pose to God. There's so many uh, times that we want to ask why. You know, why does bad things happen to good people? Why does why have you allowed uh, the COVID-19 to run rampant in our land? You know, why all of these things? I believe ultimately, whenever we get face to face with God, those questions that we would want to ask him will almost be answered and answered in an instant. We really wouldn't want to know the answer uh, because he will be the, the answer. He, he gets it. His ways are above our ways. His thoughts are above our thoughts. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know if I'm smart enough to ask God a question, yeah. uh, but that's a good question. Uh, why? That's a hard what one. Question? Yeah. Um. Honestly, just come up on my head, I would say how. Um, just knowing the kind of uh, person that I was in the past and I'm, how imperfect I still am, how? How could he look at me and see what he sees? That's a question Ooh, sometimes. That's a good one. You know, that's one thing that I figure out in the resale business that has been a blessing to me is that I find value now in things that, I really didn't see value in before stuff that I looked at and it was cheap stuff, stuff I didn't want. Now I can look and see value in it. That reminds me of the way God looks at me. Uh, when others may look at me, they see no value whatsoever, but, but he looks at me and I'm valued enough that he would give his son to die for me and for you too. Uh, so to me, that's as much preaching as you'll get on the channel. I, I think that's a uh, awesome thing. Aaron said, are you going to attempt to jump again? And Dan said, before you answer, your question should have been, why God did you not let me make that joke? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good one, too. I, I think God got a great laugh out of that. that day. I'm a, I'm the type of guy, if you're going to dare me to do something, I'm probably going to try to do it. And if you tell me I can't do it, I'm probably going to try to do it. Well, on that day, uh, I thought I could do it. And if you heard the, you probably didn't hear the sound. I'm going to have to get the sound of that video up. But the guy says, uh, come on now, you can, uh, you know, scripture says you can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And then he whispers and says, but make this jump. Uh, I didn't hear that part except in the video. Uh, but yeah, I, I did not make the jump. I neither, missed it. Neither and, did the wallet or the cell phone that was in the pocket. And I probably could not do it today, but if y'all dared me to, <laughs> I'd try again. And I would film it. I promise you that. It you, would be YouTube on YouTube. Gold. <laughs> no doubt. It would be on YouTube. All right, y'all, we got eight minutes. We don't want to cut in. We're going to go right at an hour tonight. Y'all have, man, y'all have been an a, a awesome blessing to us tonight, as you always are. Um, you know, I'm grateful for that, too. Nana Tink said, uh, God, God, are you sure uh, you don't make mistakes? Uh, I know he doesn't. There are sometimes people probably looked at me and thought he did, but uh, I'm grateful uh, that he doesn't. Dan says they need a rev redemption on that jump. Yes, I guarantee you if we go back, though, uh, I'm going to find a narrower spot in the creek to uh, try to make yeah, that Yeah, but so we're going to need like a, like a tr trickle. <laughs> Rev Redemption. That sounds like a YouTube video right there. Yeah. Hashtag uh, Rev Redemption on that one. Very good. All right, y'all, here's a, here's a question, and uh, it can be a why or an end. Uh, we've got all seven minutes left. Um do y'all want to see one more box opening tonight? One more box, a yes or a Y no. or an N in the chat, and we can see if we can quickly open another box. Thrifting Goomba, you are right. I should not hit the ball there. I was going for the shortest distance between two lines, and uh, I did why? not do it. Yeah, it looks like a lot of yeses. I haven't seen an N yet, so uh, yes, yes. I do. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna do one more, uh, one more box. I'm gonna pick this one because I think a Zion is right here. There's a Zion in this box. I know there's a Zion on the box. I think there's a Zion in the box. So let's see, let's see what we can get. I'm just busting open an eighty dollar pack right here. So hopefully, is there gonna be a Zion? 
Y'all want me to open the pack? All right, thank you, team. No, 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 ma'am. No, ma'am. You go. <laughs> open them Watch. all. I'm not going to find a Zion just because I didn't. Oh. Mmm. I like to hear that sound. It's not a Zion, but. What you doing? A Jared Allen, which is nope. An Allen Iverson. Nope. And Malik Monk. <laughs> Nobody. Y'all can just see how easy he is to get. I get riled up real easy when it comes to this. Another Taco Fall uh, rookie card. Rookie, rookie. Um, Stephon Marbury. He uh, he played uh, over in China, played at Georgia Tech for a year, I think. He was awesome cat. Ball handler. Here's a green prism. Isn't that pretty? Look at that kid. Stephen Curry. Oh. It's a thick card. Rajon Rondo. Got a LeBron. Oh my King goodness. James. All right, y'all. Let's watch your knee. Ugh. Oh. Anytime you have to pull out the one to it, it is a good video. Yep. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm glad we did this, y'all. Sorry, y'all. My face. I can't control my face. I'm getting excited. I'm going to put it in a one touch and then I want to show y'all the card that I just got. I'm or so Nick and T just about got. This next card. Let's do this one first. Anthony, how did you guess? My bestie is here. Y'all, look at that. <laughs> the Wheel to Win LeBron James Prism. This is probably, I'm sure this is a $180 card, $160 card. I don't know. I'm just shooting off the hip. Good card. I'm going to show this one off because he's my boy. Rookie card, Zion Ooh. Williamson, NBA debut. Yes, card. indeed. If that had been a <laughs> prism, that would have been a good one, too. I actually still have two of these for sale. I think I have them priced too high. This is probably a $35, $40 card, maybe $50 card in an $18 box. There's a Trey Young underneath him. Yep. Trey Young, Trey Mendes. Trey Young is an awesome basketball player for the Hawks. Russell Westbrook doesn't pass the ball, can score a bunch. I'm dancing. <laughs> um, Anthony at Pittsburgh, I don't know if you're still here. Ooh. Colin Sexton, I think this is an alternate uh, jersey card, I do believe. This may be a very valuable card. Well, there's another one, King James. Give and go, that's probably a $10 card. And then I got a PJ Washington rookie. Got on my old friend. My bestie was in the pack. Um, the Tatted Picker, we have found these boxes at Walmart so far and at Target. And I think he's actually found a couple of packs, weird to say. Was it Walgreens or CVS? Um, no. No, okay, never mind. Sorry, I scratched that. But Walmart and Target. <laughs> and um, those are the two places we have found these boxes. But they have been extremely hard to find recently. These are the first eight boxes I say we have found in two and a half weeks. Cool. If not more. Oh, three and a half weeks. Um, yeah. Since we have found these boxes, um, they are hot. They are flying off the shelves. The guy today... Literally took them out of the case. They were shipped to Target in and handed it to David today because he knew that's what he was looking for. Cannot find them. So if you if you do find them or see somebody stocking your card shelves, it's worth the ask. Hey, do you have any of the Panini mosaics you're putting out? And if they do, I'd buy every box they got. <laughs> All right, I uh, I misspoke. Uh, I misspoke on this card. This card's about a thirty dollar card. Selling for about thirty dollars. I thought it was more, um, but I still think, hey, I got a thirty dollar card. It's probably not going to stay in this if it's only a thirty dollar card. But thirty dollar LeBron James card out of an eighteen dollar pack, and it, it'll sell probably within a couple hours. Uh, that's it. I'm done. That's good. And then another LeBron James card, give and go. That's a ten dollar card. So, so that's the cool thing is there are probably. In every box of 30 cards, there's five or six that have a value in each and every one of those cards. 
and uh, you can sell them individually and make your money back really, really quick. So I believe we've opened three boxes. All three of those boxes uh, will be well. Sean, Sean, I asked for another unopened box glimpse. This is the, sorry. Yep. Let's see. Let's get the banner. Let me get the banner off. Uh, banners off. Give us a little more space. There it is right there. Uh, mission, uh, not mission, Panini Mosaic. You'll see this M here. Uh, these cards, NBA trading. The box is four prisms. Look, look for script rookies, rookie scripts. Yeah, they come with autos if you can find them. The Zions are Zions and John ja Morant's are really hot. We have found a good AI in the in the box. In these the are box. called blaster boxes. They come in mega boxes, which are about fifty dollars a piece. They come in hanger boxes, which are about seventeen dollars. <laughs> then they come in packs, which are about ten dollars. But any of those, if you find them, you can sell them on eBay for four times as much as what you bought them for. Okay. Um, Nate says you might as well send that to him. I hate you, brother. <laughs> and Moon Outdoor says, so there's a base card and a blue and orange prism for each card. Question. Yes. Um, there are the prisms. There are certain prisms. The best prism that you can find is called a Genesis prism, and they're numbered. No, they're not numbered, uh, but there are some numbered cards. The Genesis Prisms are called Super Short Print. So any of them that you see online that have SSP, that means Super Short Print. And because of that, they are more valuable. I found the Allen Iverson Short Print card. I think I sold it for $129. Uh, so there's some really good cards. The Silver Prism, just the base Silver Prism is a good prism as well. Um the prisms, there are bases, and then every one of the base cards has a prism card, and they're yep. just different color prisms. That's what makes these cards so special. Want to say hey um, to Josh at Flip Find Fun. Thanks for coming. And then up? OBX, we can't wait. We're super excited about Friday. And thank you so much for having us on, on the playlist. We do appreciate it. But, y'all, this has been a fun field uh, evening. We have had a great time. We're over an hour, and we want to uh, – we want to honor your time. Don't forget, comment in the video comments, 1K somewhere in your comment, and to be entered in the giveaway for the metal detector and or $100 gift card or, or $100 gift card and a mosaic box. Yes. So 1K in the comments down below after this video comes up, not in the live comments, which I know none of you have put in uh, 1K. Uh, I'm entered to win. Uh, so I just put in 1K. I was joking. Uh, <laughs> that was a joke. So um, after after this is over with, y'all go and do that. Once again, y'all are blessing to us. We thank you. We are honored uh, that y'all hung out with us tonight. And uh, I know there's some other things going on right now. And I want to give y'all, we want to go do that too. Uh, but we love y'all. We're honored. Any final words? Thank y'all again so much. Y'all really, we, were, we are, appreciate all of you. Very yes, much so. We know no other way of closing out this live than saying, Deuces. Deuces. May God bless. <laughs>